Hello, my name is Orinafi and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass FRP on Digno SoftBank. This is uh, um, SoftBank Digno 602KC. This phone is uh, FRP locked. So in order to bypass FRP on this phone, what you need, you need to connect your phone to the internet, the Wi-Fi network. Since if you insert a SIM card, then you're going to have no network, as you can see in my case here. So once you connect your phone to a Wi-Fi, follow my steps step by step. Uh, I'm going to show that this phone is FRP locked. So uh, uh, set up as new. Okay. Now, when you uh, connect your phone to the internet, you're going to press this error here. It says Google Play Service has stopped. So this is going to stop you from going further with the setup of your phone. So in order to to do this, um, but before we go further, I want to show you that all the ways which people were using are not working anymore. So. This is a new way that I've discovered. If I click here or CO network and then add new network, if I type random words here and then if I select all of them, then I only have cut, copy, and paste, but there's no option for uh, share, which means you cannot, or otherwise, this method doesn't work anymore. So click cancel back. Back. Okay. So um, once you're here, what you have to do, uh, and also if you go to uh, here, vision setting, and then you click talk back, it's not going to work because with the security issue, it's going to say talk back suspended. Okay. Let me show you. As you can see, it's saying talkback suspended. Talkback tutorial is not available. We are all feedback is post. This is also trying to prevent you from going further with the setup. So click exit and then turn off talkback. Okay. Now go back. Back. And another thing, if you go to emergency, click emergency and then click emergency information. Left up. Here. Contacts. Add contacts, you're not going to see anything since this phone doesn't support uh, uh, to show contacts from your SIM card. So this method doesn't work with this phone. Okay, go back and uh, back, back, back. Okay, now how are we going to solve this problem? You need to have um, the headphone jack like this one. Okay, so once you have this jack, you have to plug it to your phone, okay, and then wait. There will be a few options popping up on the screen like YouTube, photos, and play music. So other people were using the play music option. But in my case, if I place uh, play music, this is what's going to happen. And then they were going to these three options here, and then tap on, uh, they were tapping on help and feedback. But in my case, it doesn't work because play service still keeps stopping. That means I can't go anywhere. So how can we do this? Let's go back because uh, play music doesn't work. In my case, it doesn't work. Maybe other phones works, but my phone doesn't work. That means something is wrong. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Now, if you go back and then those three options are not showing up here, you have to unplug the headphone and then you plug it back. You wait for those three options to pop up. Okay. Now, if you click on YouTube, it doesn't work since it's going to tell you that you have to update YouTube in order to continue. Okay. Like this. You see this saying update. That means this option doesn't work. Okay, go back and 
plug the headphones, then the plug. Wait. Okay, now the other option to do this is to go to photos. What you have to do here when you go to photos, okay? Uh, click on photos. It's going to take you to photos. It's going to ask you to update. Click update. And then click back. Okay. Now, when you are here, what you have to do, you need to have a photo. Like in my case, I have a photo here. Click on it. You see here, it's saying, uh, share, it's showing you a uh, share option. But if you click on this share option, you're going to have these options here. But what we need, we need a, a Gmail app to work with. But if we uh, tap on, uh, on the Gmail app, it's not going to work because, okay, let me show you. It's going to say sharing to Gmail. But you see it's saying uh, Google, Gmail has stopped. Okay, click open. That's, that doesn't work. And plug the headphone and then the plug the headphone. The video may be long because I want to show you all the options which you can do and which one works. Okay, so don't get tired. Keep watching till the end. Okay, now tap on photos. Sorry. Okay. Open photos. Now, when you are here, when you are here, since that, that option doesn't work, this share doesn't work. Also, let me just show you that if we click, um, if we click on this share, okay. Uh, if we tap and hold on the Gmail app, Nothing's going to happen. Like you see, nothing is happening. Okay. So, what you have to do once you're there on the fo in the photos folder, click here on these three options here. Okay. Click on these three options here. Tap, and then edit in FC Image Viewer. Tap on that. Now the photo is going to open in this uh, FC viewer. Now, once you're here, you're going to have a share option also here. So tap on that share option, okay? Now, once you have this window, tap and hold the Gmail app, and then app info, okay? Now, once you are here, then you are good to go. Now, there is something that you have to do because you are not going to be able to download apps in this phone in order for this process to work. You have to download your apps from somewhere else and then put them in a memory card and then insert the memory card in the phone, the phone you are working with, like this, in my case, this one. Okay, so now once you are in the Gmail app, info, go to uh, notification. Okay, once notifications is open, tap on the gear icon here. And then once you're here, tap on the three dots, manage accounts, continue. Okay, now you're in the settings. Once you're here in the settings panel, like uh, you see it's about phone is Android 7.1.1, okay? What we have to do, what we need in the settings is, uh, we have to go to the apps here. Okay, tap on apps, find Google Play service. Okay, this one, and then tap on it, then disable, disable app. Now you can go back, okay, go back. And uh, you can also go to security. Okay. Find the admin apps if there's any. Okay, tap. Okay, there's no admin. Go back and back. Okay. Now, 
once you are here what you have to download in um, uh, from your other uh, device whether it's a phone or a computer you have to download this application like we call um, FRP Adro you can find this in the FRP file or FRP bypass Adrom in that uh, website then you can find uh, those apps I'll show you which app I'm talking about then what you have to do from here you have to go to storage sorry uh, storage and then tap on your uh, memory card or SD card tap on that locate where your application is like in my case I just pasted the application uh, somewhere random I didn't make a folder but you can make a folder if you feel like um, you can get lost okay you see this application here which says FRP Adrom tap on that okay uh, sometimes if you tap on that it's going to ask you to give permission to install so you have to tap on settings and then go to where there is uh, unknown apps then you have to tap on that in my case it's, it's not saying that so click install wait for it to finish okay once the installation is done click done don't open the application then go back back okay once you are here uh, you have to make sure that when you are going back you have to be in the settings okay once you're here you have to look for uh, accounts where it says accounts okay here so once you're here tap on that add account then here on the Google tap that have to wait here okay like you can see it's saying create or you have to type your uh, email so I have to put my email here Then once you are done, click next, put your password, okay, okay, and then click next. Now click on agree, wait for the process, okay now once you get this error don't worry just click anyway then tap back. Now once you are in the settings again go back to the apps here and then search for the disabled app like uh, that's the Google Play service. Okay uh, before I go there. Uh, You see here the Google is showing like it is blue, blue G, like Google. It's not like updated one. So once we go back and then we have to find the apps again. Let's find the Google Play service. Enable. Okay. And then go back. Go to the go back. Go to the accounts. You can see now it's updated to Google. So what, once you are here, you have to go back, back, back all the way back to the start screen. Okay. Back, go back. Okay. 
now you have to, from here you have to tap let's go or let's go set up as new wait for the process to finish okay you can see now that error which was coming is gone so you have to click next sometimes when you click next it's not going to go through so what you need to do is just to restart the phone and then uh, click next 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 and it's going to pass okay let's wait for the process to finish because i didn't cut this video it's just the full video so let's wait and see at the end how we're going to finish it But uh, you have to remember that in order for this process to work, you need to download the application from another phone, not from the same device. Because as you can see, I didn't use uh, I didn't use any uh, browser to download anything. I just used my SD card. I put the, uh, uh, the applications there, and I just like that. So. We are still continuing the setting up the device. So now click skip anyway. Okay. Next. So as you can see, we are almost done. So Next. Okay, just click no thanks. <coughs> uh, come on. Uh, next. Agree. Okay, here yes, saying you have to say okay, Google. So you can say okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Okay. So, I don't know what this is, but yeah, <coughs> we have to deal with that. Okay. So, uh, click next. Then finish. All set. Okay, now we're in the phone. It's done. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video really helped you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.